Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this tutorial, I just want to talk about how to create levels inside of Game Maker Studio and assign backgrounds and change the room size. So, a level in Game Maker Studio is actually a room. That's the first thing you got to get used to. It's not called level, it's called a room, but it's exactly the same thing. If we open this up, it is a level. To make a new one, you just right click on your room and click create room and then name it whatever you want. So I do a naming convention of typing RM so that I know it's a room and then the name and there you have it. So now we have two rooms in our game, two different levels and you can switch between them by using the code room go to and putting the name of the room in there. So in our room if we want to apply a background we need to click on the layer background. There are several different layers that you can have here, such as instances, tiles, paths, and assets, and each one of those deserves its own videos, which you can check out on my channel. But I want to talk about the background layer specifically, because there's a lot you can do with it. So if you want to have a background in your game, you need to have a sprite. You import a sprite, and then you choose that sprite from right here, and you just put it on there. And you can see that it fills up the entire level. And that's because if we actually click on our sprite, it is 1024 by 1025, and our room is 1024 by 768. And you can actually tell that if you look down here, there's not that many green hills, but in the sprite itself, there's a lot more. And so that if we scroll down, down here is where actually more green hills would be. And we can see that if we make the height of our room, which is down here in the room properties, 1025, it fills that in. Now if I made this 1500, you can see that the background no longer fills it in so that there's just uh, a gray background there. And if we look at that, it's a very tall room. Let's go ahead and change this back to what it was before and press this button to center fit the room. And so that is how you put a background in. But what if we have a background that needs to be tiled somehow? Well, I've got clouds right here. And I'll have links to these that you can download, or you can just make a sprite and follow along, whatever you want to do. I've got some clouds here that are designed to be horizontally tiled and look really great when they are. So if we click on this horizontal tile button, it does that, and you can see it looks really nice. Now, we also can animate these. So if we scroll down a little more, we have horizontal and we have vertical speed. They are both set to zero by default, but if we put horizontal speed at one inside of here, or two, then we press F5, or the play button, to run our game, you'll see that the clouds are actually moving, and that looks really cool. Maybe a little fast, but it still looks really nice. Now, we've got a lot of space down here that's not being used, so if we want to fill that in with something, we can actually make a second background layer by clicking on this button right here. We need to make sure it goes underneath our other background layer and then you can see that the clouds are on top and we can put a different one inside of here such as that first one we did. And then the art style is a little different but it still looks really nice I think. And you get this idea that you can have multiple backgrounds in here. Okay so we've got that. I'm going to delete the f extra background layer and what if we have a background that we want to tile completely so that it just always fills up our room? Well, I've got one right here. And if we click on vertical tile as well, it will always fill up the room, no matter how large we make it. If I put 2000 by 2000, you can see here that it still fills up the room completely. Horizontally and vertically tiled means that it's going to fill up the entire room background all the time. Now, if we have something and we want to stretch it out, we can. We can click that and it will completely fill it up. Some things will look okay stretched and some things won't. You'll have to play around with that depending on exactly what you want to do. And I've already touched on it a little bit, but if we have a background that's very, very long and we want to be able to fit that in, what we want to do is click on the background and figure out exactly how wide it is. So this is 1456 by 464. So let's go over to our room settings down here, which is the width and the height, 
Let's look at that. So 1456 is the width. And the height was 464. And now in our room, if we center fit this, you'll see that the entire sprite is fit there and it's exactly how it's supposed to be. It looks really great and if we run it, our room size will actually be that. Now we left that horizontal uh, speed on and we didn't tile it so that's a little awkward. Let's go down here and turn that off. But that is backgrounds that you need to set up in your room and that's how you do it. Adding a new level to your game is just adding a room and then playing around with the backgrounds gives you a lot of freedom on what's back there. And then, of course, you can add more layers and put more things on top, like objects and sprites and paths and tile sets. But this shows you how to do backgrounds, and hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. But that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me, and as always, have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later.